Okay, so this is going to be a uh, fairly quick tutorial on implementing faceted search in Drupal 7. Now, what do I mean by faceted search? Well, if you go to any website, like any major website that sells a lot of products like Amazon, and uh, we'll just jump into, sure, digital music. Um, a lot of times what you'll see um, when you're you know browsing through these sites is a list of categories on the left that allow you to sort of filter by a particular you know, given set of um, selections. So um, this is what, what we mean by faceted search, where you see a bunch of um, items that have particular categorizations, and you see a list of categories that lets you sort of drill down and filter uh, among all those different um, items. So we're going to go ahead and uh, implement the same sort of functionality in Drupal. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is cover um, the modules that you'll need to install and enable. So first we're going to do, uh, you need to have Entity API installed. This is a, um, a dependency of one of the, the major uh, modules that we're going to be using called Search API. Uh, you're also going to want to get Path Auto installed um, along with its dependency, the token module, uh, so that we can uh, also implement pretty, pretty aliases, pretty paths. Uh, Search API, uh, which is where all the magic happens. And then also um, we're going to um, enable or install and enable Search API database search. So instead of using a, um, a more expensive solution like Solar, which um, you know typically is not available on sort of introductory shared hosting plans, um, this module, Search API database search, will let you actually use an index um, in, a, in a MySQL database instead. So it's a little bit uh, less expensive, um, and you don't have to worry about implementing, you know, an entire, an entirely different search engine either. It's completely contained within Drupal. Uh, this is ideal, you know, mostly for smaller, you know, less heavily trafficked sites with, you know, maybe thousands of items or hundreds of items, more preferably, I believe. Um, you know, and if you as you start to get more. If, if that's you know if it's going to be a, a, a site like you know like an Amazon competitor, you're probably going to want to switch to um, a more efficient solution like Solar. But for smaller websites, um, small businesses, maybe selling products, this should actually be ideal. Uh, we're also going to need to install the Facet API, <clears throat> which is the module that will take care of handling all of the faceted searches, and then also Facet API Pretty Pass, which is sort of an accompaniment to the Facet API module just to make um, the URL aliases look a little bit uh, look a little nicer. All right, so once you get all those installed, we're going to go ahead and enable a bunch of them. And I've actually already uh, enabled them, so I'm just going to cover which ones you need to check off. Uh, so we got Path Auto, Entity API, uh, Search API, as well as Search Facets. We're also going to uh, have search views selected. I'm going to show you how to create a view um, and then use that view to um, how to filter uh, using facets uh, in that view. And also database search. This is um, the search API database search module. Uh, facet API, uh, facet API pretty paths, and you don't need facet API multi-select. Um, and then you're also going to have uh, views if um, you want to follow along and create a view. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to create a custom server that's going to index all of our um, all of our products. So uh, you're going to go into configuration and then search API and add server. We're just going to call it products. And for the class, you're going to choose database service. That's fine. You can hit create server. Okay, now we're going to actually have to go back and uh, create an index now. It's going to be for products. And it'll be on nodes. And the server is the product server. And I'm going to check this box now. I believe on sites that have um, more items that it's indexing, then less, you're probably going to want to leave that unchecked so that it's not, um, you know, 
so intensive on uh, on your server but we're just going to go ahead and uh, set this up for right now uh, now we're going to go ahead and select the different fields index i have three different taxonomy fields associated with this with a custom content type um, called product and those taxonomy terms are uh, color size and price and I've only added a few terms to each of these. Um, I think there are four different products that use a combination of the different taxonomy terms, but you're just going to hit save. Um, so the fields, basically, those are all these boxes here that you check for fields. Those are the, the fields that you're going to want uh, facets to be able to filter through. So you'll check any boxes that you're going to want to be able to cat, you know, be, have the customer or whoever, the user of the site, filter through. Um, you don't need to uh, do anything on the filters tab. Uh, the next tab we're going to look at is facets. And these three are already checked. Um, so we have uh, color, size, and price. And by checking these boxes here, it's going to create new blocks that you can administer um, that will have a list of all the terms. Um, and it'll allow you to actually filter through uh, the categories. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and show you a couple of the different displays that you have as options to you. So by default, just links is checked. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. But we're going to choose links with checkboxes. And the idea here is, well, you know, and this is going to be for color. So if the customer or whoever is using the site wants to see all of your blue and yellow items, then they're going to be able to check multiple checkboxes. And the faceted search will actually come back and show them all the products that are blue and red, for example. Um, now, in order for this to work, you're going to have to change the operator to OR. Um, otherwise, as soon as you click a checkbox, it's just going to um, isolate your search to that one term. So if you use OR, then it allows you to actually like select multiple boxes at the same time. Um, Facet API Pretty Pass gives us an option of creating a pretty path alias. Um, normally, you'd see something like field underscore color, which would end up sh appearing in your URL. And, uh, you know, it'd be like question mark field underscore color equals and then a list of the different colors that you've selected. So we're just going to choose color and uh, I'll show you what the uh, what the pretty path looks like a little bit later. Um, save that and then go back. And now for size. We're just going to leave that. We're going to change this to links and and. And we're going to do the same thing for price. We're just going to leave it as links. So that's good. OK, so now we have set up all of our facets. Um, now we need to actually go back to the index and actually index our items. Okay, so we're going to hit index now. So there's only four. So it, it, it'll index fairly quickly. Um, and now whenever you create like a new product, um, whenever cron is run, it will re-index those new items. Um, so you don't ever have to really go back in here again. I'm just doing it now to set it up initially. Um, <clears throat> the next thing we're going to want to do is enable the uh, pretty path. Uh, Facet API pretty paths, and uh, so you just make sure that these boxes are checked here, and then you'll save. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a custom view. So views, add new view, and uh, we'll just call it products. And it's going to be a page. And what we're going to show here is you should see a new item in this list for your the custom index that you created. So we called it products, remember. So now what this will do is it'll actually serve us up a view and it'll give us um, a list of fields that um, are part of the index. So mostly node items. So that should be good. We can hit continue and edit. <clears throat> and we'll modify some of these fields. We're just going to add the title and the image. Yeah. So 
idle. And we're going to get rid of this node ID. All right, so there you go. All right, so now that our um, our product view is done, we're going to go ahead and um, head over to blocks and just make sure that we have um, uh, the, so these are the facets that we've actually enabled. So they created, um, you know, facet API created blocks for us to actually um, place within our um, within our website. So I'm just going to leave these all over in the sidebar and uh, I didn't modify the URL. I believe these blocks they will only show up on pages um, where there is a view that you can actually um, that you can actually filter through. So um, like if I'm pretty sure uh, I didn't change the URL so it's it should it's set to currently show all three of those blocks on all pages, but they won't show up on the front page, for example. So just go ahead and view products. We'll see the list of um, filters here on the right. And uh, so you'll see um, the different types of widgets that we have available to us. So we have price, um, well, sorry, the widgets. Um, these first two, price and size, we just selected links. Um, the, the second, uh, widget type is links with checkboxes and you'll remember that I um, had changed the operator to or so now we should be able to actually check one of these boxes and it'll reload the page with a nice pretty URL and show us only those items that are read and uh, we can also uh, check another box and it'll actually show us all the items that are red and blue um, now if we went ahead and uh, clicked on small well actually let's see here so right now it's showing us a large truck and then two small I items that are both red and blue so if we hit um, small now the truck should be gone and it'll just show us the um, the two small items now um, so that's how these different widgets work and you'll see how the different um, how the how the pretty paths are showing up so this is how you implement uh, faceted search in Drupal 7.